Magandang araw! Isa ka ba sa mga batang mahilig sa numbers? O isa ka sa mga natatakot at nahihirapang intindihin ang mga mathematical concepts? Huwag kang mag-alala! Nandito ako para tulungan ka! Ang mathematics ay gagawin nating easy, fun, and exciting! With me, Teacher Joyce! Lesson 16 Solving problems involving division and any other operation of whole numbers Objective After going through this lesson, students are expected to solve multi-step routine and non-routine problems involving division and any of the other operation of whole numbers including money using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. To solve multi-step routine and non-routine problems involving division and any of the other operations of whole numbers, follow these simple steps. Step 1. Understand. Know what is asked. These are the questions that we need to solve. Know the given facts. These are the important numbers to solve the problem. And, if any, determine the hidden questions. Step 2 is plan. Determine the operation to be used. So, we're gonna identify which of the four basic operations we will use to solve the problem. And then, write the number sentence. This is where we write the given facts and the operation together. Step 3 is solve. Use the operation to solve. This is where we write our solution. Step 4 is check and look back. Write the answer in complete sentence. So let's try to solve this word problem. Leo bought 4 t-shirts and 2 pair of pants for 3,000 pesos. If the t-shirts cost 300 pesos each, find the cost of each pair of pants. Before we solve, let's first visualize the word problem. So Leo bought 4 t-shirts and 2 pair of pants. Each shirt cost 300 pesos. The total cost of 4 t-shirts and 2 pants is 3,000 pesos. So we have to solve how much is the cost of each pants. So for step 1, understand. We need to identify what is asked in the problem. So we can write, find the cost of each pair of pants. Next are the given facts. These are the important numbers to solve the problem. So we have 4 t-shirts and 2 pants cost 3,000 pesos and then each t-shirt cost 300 pesos. Step 2 is plan. So we have to determine the operation to be used. The operation we will use are multiplication. This is to find the cost of the four t-shirts. Next is subtraction. We're gonna subtract the cost of four t-shirts from the total amount. And then we're gonna divide the remaining amount to get the cost of each pants. Next, we'll write the number sentence. So we have 3,000 minus 4 times 300 is equals to N, where N stands for the cost of 2 pants. Then we're gonna divide N by 2 to get the cost of each pants. Step 3 is solve. So first, we have... 3,000 minus 4 times 300 is equals to N. So, we're gonna first solve for the numbers inside the parentheses, and that is 4 times 300. So, 4 times 0 is equals to 0. 4 times 0 is equals to 0. Then, 4 times 3 is equals to 12. So the cost of 4 t-shirt is 1,200. Next, we will subtract the total cost of 4 t-shirts from the total amount. So, we could get the price of the 2 pants. So, 3,000 minus 1,200 is equals to N, where N stands for the price of 2 pants. So 0 minus 0 is equals to 0. 0 minus 0 is 
is equals to 0. And then 0 minus 2 is cannot be. So we borrow 1 from 3. 3 will become 2. And then 0 will become 10. 10 minus 2 is equals to 8. Then 2 minus 1 is equals to 1. The 2 pants cost 1,800. Now I divide 1,800 to 2 so that we get the cost of each pants. So, 2 divided by 1,800, 2 is greater than 1. So, we will start to divide the first 2 digit of the dividend. So, 18 divided by 2. Looking into the table of 2, 2 times 9 is equals to 18. So, we write 9 as our quotient. Then, 9 times 2 is equals to 18. 18 minus 18 is 0. Bring down 0. 0 divided by 2 is cannot be, so we write 0 in the quotient. 0 times 2 is equals to 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. Then again, bring down 0. 0 divided by 2 cannot be, so we write 0 to the quotient. And then 0 times 2 is equals to 0. 0 minus 0 is 0. Step 4 is check and look back. Looking back into our problem, so we have 4 t-shirts that cost 300 pesos each and the total is 1,200. And then, we have 2 pair of pants which cost 900 pesos each and the total is 1,800. So, 1,200 plus 1,800 is equal to 3,000 pesos. Therefore, the correct answer is each pants cost 900 pesos. Now, it's your time to solve. In 5 minutes, read and analyze the problem. Solve the problem by applying the steps in solving word problem. Your timer starts now.
time's up, let's check your work. In the library, there are nine rectangular tables with eight pupils each and square tables with four pupils each. How many square tables are needed so that 100 pupils can read at the same time? So before we solve, let's first visualize the problem. So there are nine rectangular tables in the library. And each table can accommodate eight pupils. If there are 100 pupils who will go to the library at the same time, how many additional square tables do we need if four pupils will share each table? So for step one is understand. We need to identify what is asked in the problem. So we need to solve for the square tables needed so that 100 pupils can read at the same time. Next are the given facts or the most important numbers to solve the problem. So we have 9 rectangular tables with 8 pupils each and 100 pupils. Step 2, determine the operation to be used. So we're going to use multiplication to find the total number of pupils that can sit in the rectangular table. Next, we're going to subtract the pupils that can sit in the rectangular table from the total number of pupils. Then, we will divide the remaining pupils to 4 to know how many square tables are needed. So for our number sentence, we have 100 minus 9 times 8 is equals to n where n stands for the pupils that needs a square table. Divide n by 4 to get the square tables needed. So step 3 is solve. We have 100 minus 9 times 8 is equals to n. We're gonna first solve for the numbers inside the parentheses. So 9 times 8 is equals to 72. So therefore, 72 pupils can sit in the rectangular table. Next, we're gonna subtract the pupils that can sit in the rectangular table from the total number of pupils. So 100 minus 72 is equals to 28. So 28 pupils will sit in the square table. Then divide the remaining pupils to 4 to know how many square tables are needed. So 4 divided by 28, 4 is greater than the divisor 2. So we will start from dividing the two digit of the dividend, which is 28 divided by 4. Looking into the table of 4, 2 times 7 is equals to 28. So we will write 7 to the quotient. Then 7 times 4 is equals to 28. 28 minus 28 is equals to 0. And the last step is let's check and look back. So we have 9 rectangular tables and 8 pupils can share in each table. So the total is 72 pupils can share the rectangular table. If we add 7 square table with 4 pupils who can use it, 28 pupils can sit in the square table. So 72 plus 28 is equals to 100 pupils. So the answer would be 7 additional square tables are needed to accommodate 100 pupils. Did you get the correct answer? Excellent! That's all for today. If you learned from this video, don't forget to enroll from my channel by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell for more videos. Once again, this is your teacher Joy saying, Ang mahirap na math problems ay kaya nating padaliin. Bye-bye and have a great day.